y'all. I'm back. It is nail mail time again. Um, obviously, right? Y'all know when you turn this video on and you see packages sitting in front of me, it's nail mail time. Plus, you probably already read the thumbnail, so you know what you're coming on for. Um, so, I have a few things here, including my subscription box. So, I got a couple things to open up. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Heather. I am a stylist and a nail addict. Do my nails a couple times a week and I film it for you guys. And pretty much every time I get new strips in the mail, I film that too. So, if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, welcome back, maniac. I love you. All right. So, my first package here has um, is a Color Street package. So, stuff I ordered from Color Street. Um, so, I got the um, Sugar Plum Fairy strips. Um, it's exactly what it's called, Sugar Plum Fairies. Um, it's a kind of like a mauvey pink strip. And then it has some darker pink glitter, light pink glitter, silver glitter, all sorts of glitter. There was another set that was in the same thing as this, but they didn't have any more of it. It was already sold out, so I only got Sugar Plum Fairy. Um, but I, I like it a lot. It looks very pretty. Um, and then while I was at it, I got another um, one of the petite sets there, Magical Night with the black and gold and stars. So got another one of those. And then I got two sets of Santa Baby. So this is one of the sets that you could get with the lipsticks. I was not interested in the lipsticks. I don't wear makeup um, very often. So I was excited when they separated them out and I could get this on its own. So this is Santa Baby. Um, it's a really pretty red color. Um, we may use this. I don't know yet. I was, I'm debating back and forth in the next, in the mini that I'm going to be filming next when I'm done with this. Um, if I'm going to use this or use, I already have those so bright open. I might just use what's open out of that rather than opening another set. Um, but this color is just super pretty. It's a very nice, like true red and it has super tiny micro glitter in it, all little red sparkles. So I love it. Um, and I got two packages of that. I really like this packaging that they put it into. I think this is, I like this. I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing more of this. There is the um, nail file and um, alcohol wipe in there too. So I like this packaging. I think this is better. Definitely less wasteful, I think. It's, you know, we don't need as much packaging as they come in. So um, I like this a lot. So I got two sets of that. I think it looks really sophisticated too. The black and gold, like super pretty. All right. Um, then this next package here is from Alex. So that's the young lady that I buy mixed mini sets from. So I got some more. More, more, more. She put them in a little envelope with a holiday sticker and a thank you card. She always does that. That's sweet. Um, and then there's a little bag of some alcohol wipes and the little baby nail files. I love those. Those are my favorite. So... Um, thank you very much for those, Alex. I'm going to enjoy that. Um, and then I got four new sets of uh, mixed manis. So um, the first one is a holiday kind of themed one. So it has um, Hollyback Girl in it, Lustenberg, Dublin, and Dublin Classic. Um, so it's got some really pretty green strips, some red strips, and then silver sparkly strips with um, holly berries on them. So, super cute, another one for Christmas time. Um, I think pretty much every video from here out is going to be 
mixed mayonnaise um, for Christmas because I want to use those before I use strips that are still in the factory package. Um, because even though these, the way she seals them, they always come out nice and fresh. I don't want to test their ability to last for an entire year until next Christmas. So I'm going to probably use up the mixed mani sets that I have before I do something that's not a mixed mani um, for Christmas. So you'll probably see a lot of these coming up. Um, and I'm going to put that in the pile for the Christmas stuff that I have lined up. All right. And then the next few are not Christmas ones. So, um, this one here, these two, they're kind of similar. So I feel like I should show them together, even though they're not the same strips, but, um, I just, they're really pretty and I kind of felt like they met, went together almost like I could mix and match these two and whatnot. But, um, this one has Holy Toledo, Drop and Give Me Zen, Night Terror, and Iris Sidium. Iris Didium, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Um, but that's the, so um, you've got Night Terror, that's the sparkly ones. Drop and Give Me Zen is the one with the mandalas on it. Um, Iris Sidium is that purple color. And then Holy Toledo is the teal color. So um, I love all of those sets. And Toledo, um, Drop and Give Me Zen, those are hard, harder to find ones. Um, they're not hard to find, but like just less, you know, they're, they're, they're older. Um, and then Night Terror is one of my favorites. I love Night Terror. I think it's a super good purple. So that's another one. And then this one has teals and purples too, kind of, but more like the sea foam type teal color. Um, so this one is sty um, Strict Diet but like dye it, not diet, like the word diet, um, like what you eat, a dye, like as in dyeing clothes, um, cosmic cloud, raise your voice, and mint to be, and Pacific waters. So I'm excited about that one. Raise your voice is this overlay that I have never used, and I'm super excited about it. So I picked this mix because it had so many in it. It has like one, two, three, three, na four nails that you could use the overlay. So I was excited about that one. Um, and then the last one is like a, um, and I don't know that she intended it to be, but I look at it and see it as a Valentine's Day set. So um, it's got some sparkly black strips. It has some red strips with design on it. It's got Bloody Gorgeous in it. Um, so anyways, the sets that are actually in there is Moulin Rouge, Bloody Gorgeous, Party Hardy, and Only in Vegas. So to me, that looks like a Valentine's Manny. I don't, again, I don't know that she necessarily intended it to be, but that's what I'll use it for. So, and I think it looks really pretty and it'll be a good mix. So those are the mixes for now. I've got another, um, probably, you know, next, next week I'll have another whole set of um, mixed mayonnaise for you. So I'm a little addicted at the moment to doing that. So, all right. And now the big show, right? The subscription box. If you don't want to know what's in it, if you haven't gotten yours yet, turn me off now because I'm about to open her up. So this is your last warning to get out now if you don't want to see it. Um, I did, I do already know what's in here. Um, I did watch another video um, and see what was in it. So hence the lack of excitement in my voice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep my opinion to myself and show you what's in it. So there are some sets in here that I actually am, I'm really like, I'm, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to using them, but I'm also a little disappointed, so. It is what it is. They're going to do better next time. I'm sure of it. Um, all right. So it came nice little package in this box. Um, all of the little stuff. It's, it's nicely packaged. I like the package. Do I need a box like this? Not necessarily. I would be fine with an envelope like they did for um, the DIY sets. 
for Halloween, but it's a cute little package. It's nice. Um, so it comes with the brochure in it, right? I'm not going to go over that yet because it'll show you the sets if I do. I want to show you the sets first, but so this is the brochure that will show you what's in there and give you some ideas of how to use what's in there. Um, then they have a little card that lists the names of all of the sets that are in it. Um, and then there is a kind of like a collab thing, I guess you could call it. They give you a card in here for $10 off of a $30 order through Casely, um, which I believe is a, I'm assuming is a company that makes cases for your phones. So um, that's kind of cool too. I mean, it's $10 off. That's great. Um, then you have your sets. I'm going to look at those in a second. We're going to actually turn them over. Um, you got some black filling, which is very Roaring Twenties. Um, there is a nail file. The nail file is pretty cute. Um, it's got like the grit on one side and then the other side looks like um, a nail strip. It looks like Tokyo Lights pretty much is the color that I'm seeing on here. So, and it's in the little Color Street case. That's nice. You could throw that in your purse and then, you know, it keeps it from getting messed up in your purse or whatever. Um, and then there is this little box that says Color Street on it. Um, it doesn't really say on the outside what it is. Oh, here we go. That's why I was looking at the non-English side. It says nail clipper with file. So um, in that, whoop, I dropped it. You have this cute little um, container that it's in. And... I don't know what this is for on the bottom. It's just, I guess, probably padding, but it's kind of weird to have. I don't know. Well, I guess it's padding. Um, and then your nail clippers are in there. It's got the Color Street logo on it. Some little nail clippers. And um, then on the bottom... There's a little thing you push the button down and it comes out and there's a little like metal nail file thing on there. So that's cute. Um, all right. So now what everybody really wants and cares about, right, is the sets that are in it. Am I putting this the wrong way or something? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I put it the wrong way. All right. So. Again, you could probably throw this in a purse or something, keep it, you know, because it'll be in the nice little case, so it'll be safe if you happen to need it. All right, and then the sets. I'm gonna close this back up so that I have something to kind of lay them on to show you. I keep hitting the camera, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, all right. And the box is pretty too, the, you know, the purple color play, the um, pattern that's on the box. It's kind of pretty, yeah. So, um, the sets. Oh, and this fell out. So you do get your alcohol wipe and nail file, like always. Um, so first one I'm gonna grab here is the full set that's in there. And um, it is this very cool overlay. Um, it's called Roaring Good Time. So this is an overlay. So, um, you know, the parts that you're seeing are white or clear. So it gives you this sort of nice geometric pattern, which is what I was saying, right? Remember I kept saying, I'm picturing some art deco stuff because they were talking about the Roaring Twenties. This is exactly what I was thinking. Um, so this, Overlay is very nice. I like it. Um, definitely see me using this for some of my New Year's manicures. Um, then we have the part that disappointed me. Okay, we're just going to talk about it. I'm disappointed. <laughs> um, we have two 
kind of partial sets, if you want to call it that, um, six strip sets of Midnight in Manhattan. Not new. I was looking for new, but it is what it is. So we have a um, 12 strips, sorry, not six, because it's six different sizes, two sets in there. So 12 strips total of the regular Midnight in Manhattan, okay? Um, and then they put in another 12 strip. I think it's 12 or is it just six? No, this is just six. So this one is just a six strip set. Okay, so there's not two um, rows of strips in this package. It's one row. So there are six strips and they are scored and cut down the middle. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I think that's nice. They kind of did the work for you, but um, I can cut my own strips down the middle. So the fact that it's Midnight in Manhattan is what... I, I love Mid Midnight in Manhattan. Don't get me wrong about that, okay? Staple set, you should have it. That's my problem. Everybody should already have it. So I don't need it in here. I wanted something new. And they did give us new. They did. Um, But I wanted it all new, not sets that I could get and do myself. So um, the next one, again, is another one that's scored. Um, this one they called Cocktail Hour Multi. And this one does have, okay, wait a minute. Did this one have two? And I just couldn't tell. Oh, I think it does. It's just hard to, I don't know. Okay, this might be two strips. It might, no, it's not, it's just one. So this one's definitely just one. This Midnight in Manhattan that's scored down the middle is six strips. Um, but this one that's called Cocktail Hour Multi, ugh, that's a tongue twister, um, is two strips. So there are 12 of these strips that are scored. So they're pre-cut for you. Um, and I don't know if it's, yeah, it is showing pretty good on camera. So it has two sides and a middle. Um, again, I could do this, but it is kind of nice. You'd have super perfect straight lines. Um, and then you can kind of pair them up with your Midnight in Manhattan or whatever else you want, right? So these are scored. They're very scored. Like you're not going to be able to use this as a whole strip if you wanted to, you'd have to use the scoring on it. So, um, and it's a nice gold color. Um, it's like a, I would say it's a very rich gold color to me. Like it's a deeper gold. Um, it's a really pretty gold. I do like this color. It's hard to describe it. Um, it does have, um, it's a shimmer. So it has a sheen to it. Um, and it is very pretty. I like it. And then the last one I, I, I actually like the most. Um, so this one is called Glitz and Glamour, and it is another 12 strip set. So it's got six different sizes, two strips. Um, and this one is a gold glitter. Um, and... It's like a rosy gold. It has, um, like to me, almost looks like pink glitters in there. Um, but not to the extent of like Tokyo Lights, right? Tokyo Lights is really pink. This has some hints of pink to it. It has the sparkles in it that are like those hollow glitters. So it's got that like multicolored sparkle to it. Really, really super pretty set. I would have liked more of stuff like this. So I love this one. You will see this for sure in a New Year's manicure. Um, it's really pretty. If you don't like rose gold, you might not like it. Um, I am a huge fan of rose gold. So I'm in love with this set. This is super pretty. So that is the subscription box. Um, we'll see, it was the first one. So, um, I'm gonna give them that, it was the first one. And now they've gotten some feedback probably from stylists and um, other you know, customers and 
whatnot, and we'll see what January's box brings. Um, and, you know, if you're not a Valentine's person, I'm sorry, because January's box is very clearly going to be a Valentine's Day themed box. I'm cool with that. I like Valentine's Day. I do my, um, you know, again, just kind of like Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving. I do tons of manicures around Valentine's Day because I like the sets. Um, so I'm cool with a Valentine's themed um, box. If you're not, you got to reach out and let them know. You've got to email in, give them your thoughts because otherwise it's going to be that all the time. Um, and at first I didn't really care. I was like, whatever, if it's, ho if it's holiday themed, it's holiday themed. But then the more I thought about it, I don't want to be forced to have the holiday sets if I don't want them. If there's, if I think they should be doing holiday releases and the um, subscription box should be something separate. So I hope that they do that because I don't want to see it become a holiday box versus, you know, something new and exciting. So anyways, that's my opinion. It's, you know, agree with it, don't, it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's just my opinion of it. So um, that is my nail mail today. Um, if you liked it, again, I hope to that you um, decide to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and come back and watch some more. So um, I am going to go and film another Christmas Manny. I'm excited. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I finished my nail mail video and then the next day I got a package in the mail. So I decided that I'm just going to add this on to the other nail mail video because I haven't um, edited or published it yet. So um, <laughs> you thought I was done and here I am, I'm back. So um, I have a little package here that I got from... Miss Anna, um, she does in Coco sets and in Coco Japan and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to show you guys real quick before I go into this package. I got um, a refill bottle of the Orly Bonder. Um, I got it for a pretty good price. I'm trying to remember how much it was now. I know I was happy with it. Let me see. Does it say it on here? Of course not. Why would it say it on the bill that came with it it was it was a good price it was pretty cheap considering it is an eight ounce bottle this bottle will probably last me a really really long time because i opened this bottle here which is 0.6 ounces okay this is eight um I think I opened this when I started doing all my Christmas sets. And you can see like it's, there's just a little tiny bit out of it so far. So this bottle will last me quite a while. I got it on this um, place here, it's called, um, trying to cover the addresses here, C8 Nail Supply. I just searched Orly Bonder refill um, online and then um, it came up, so it's easy enough to find, but, um, I just wanted to show you guys that I was able to get it in a big bottle. They had an even bigger one, <laughs> but I think if I got the even bigger one, I would be leaving it, um, to probably my great, great, great grandchildren to use, um, because <laughs> I don't think I would go through it that quickly. I think the bigger bottle was like 20. That's more for like a nail salon that uses it, I think, um, but I thought this was cool that I got, I found the refill so I can just refill the bottles that I have now. All right, but now for the fun stuff. My package here from Miss Anna. So she put all my sets into this cute little bag inside there. And then some candy and a cute little Rubik's cube, which I'm probably gonna put in one of the stockings, I bet you. But, so, I thought that was cute. Um, and then, I've got all my sets in here. So, 
um, they just released um, some new sets from Inkoko Japan. Um, and it was a, a bundle. You got, you buy three, get one free. And they also gave you a cute little glass nail file. It says in Coco on it. Super cute. So I did the bundle, of course. I was like, yeah, I'm doing that. Um, I'm going to put these over to the side while I show you this, these, because these are in Coco. And then I got a bunch of Shibella stuff as well. So, um, so the in Coco sets um, are going to be, I think, really good at Valentine's time. They're going to be good Valentine's nails. So um, first one here is Starlight or Starlit. And it's like, a, um, I would compare it probably to Lavish Lavender, um, but I think it's better. <laughs> um, so, but it's like a lavendery colored glitter overlay. It's really pretty. Um, and then the next set is called Lavender Lane. Now this one is a solid, not a solid, but not an overlay, excuse me. It's a glitter. And it has that beautiful hollow glitter in it that just sparkles in different lights, you know. Um, I would say this, to me, reminds me of Glamsterdam. Um, it's different, but it's pretty close to that. Um, so I really like that one. And then the next one is called Pita Party, or Peter, Pita Pat, Pita Pat. Pit a pat, maybe? I don't know. It's a gold. <laughs> it's a rose gold overlay, so kind of similar to coming up rose gold. Pit a pat, or yeah, I guess that's what it is. Pit a pat. I don't know why. I don't know what that has to do with this. It doesn't, I don't know, whatever. It's a name. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a it's a overlay with rose gold colored glitter in it. It's very pretty. And then the last one is Sparkle Rose, or Sparkle Rosy. And is another overlay with um, like hot pink, red, silver. What else do we got in here? I think that's it. So, but it's got a bunch of different color glitter. Again, an overlay. Will you two quit it? Sorry, my cats are over there having a little dis disagreement apparently. <laughs> um so yeah this one's a really pretty one too again with the red and and um hot pink and silver kind of similar to love shack from last year's valentine sets um or this year's was that this year's maybe it was this year's so really pretty one again love it i like you can't go wrong with an overlay in my opinion but that's just me. Um, and then I got a Shabella or, or Shibella overlay as well. Um, it's really hard to see. Like the picture of it, um, I think shows it better because it's, you know, like on a nail instead of in a package like this. So it's super hard to see it, but um, it has like a floral pattern and like a... Um, fishnet type kind of pattern to it. So it has all these little flowers. So wherever you see like the random kind of silver dots, it's the center of a flower. And then in between it has that fishnet pattern and then it's got some um, silvery dotted lines in there. So um, it's really pretty. This one I'm probably gonna save until like springtime. Pull that out when it's springtime finally and celebrate by putting some flowers on my nails. So I'm excited about that one. And then I got a bunch, bunch of accent nails. Look at all those. Um, so these don't have a name on them. They're just um, packs of accent nails. So each of these has um, four strips in it. <clears throat> so this one's a nice like tan background. And then it has pretty um, daisies all over it. So again, springtime, I'm going to be busting this one out. Or maybe during the winter when I'm feeling like I want some springtime going on. Um, and then another floral one. This one has like a um, minty green background with white flowers. 
Um, this one, I absolutely love. I'm not sure if it's an overlay or if this is going to be white in the middle. So we'll find out when we use it. But I absolutely loved these beautiful little silver dragonflies. And then this one has the silver just at the edge. So where that is, it would put the silver down at the bottom of your nail. And I have a couple of nail feet saved to do that exact thing. Um, so I was excited when I saw this because this is exactly what I was thinking of. So um, again, probably be one that I'll try out in the spring, but you know, if I can't wait that long, maybe we'll do like some dragonflies and snowflakes for winter. I don't know. Um, this one, again, I'm not sure if it's an overlay or not, because I couldn't really tell in the pictures. Um, I think they're both probably overlays. They look like it to me. Um, and then, so this one is like a little geometric triangle pattern at the um, again, this would put it at the base of your nail where it is because, so when you put the strip on, you would have that pattern at the base of your nail. Um, or you could do like I've shown many times on here that you can cut them in half and turn it around. So if you wanted to have this at the top of your nail, you could. Um, all right, let's see. What's this one? Oh yes, this one. I was so excited about this one. I'll, I'll use this one during the winter for sure. It's sort of a sweater pattern, but also like it looks like sequins. Um, and it has a little bit of glitter to it. So I just thought that one was super cute and I had to have it. Um, let's do this one since it's facing up. Um, this one here again, another one I'm super excited about. And I actually have um, a set in mind to use this with already. Um, I was thinking about doing it with, well, I've got it up here. Hold on. How good would that be with Festival of Lights? Festival of Lights, right? Yes, it is. I actually remembered the name, Festival of Lights. So can you see it with that? I think it's going to look super cute with that because this has... Um, sort of like a feather pattern on it. So on this one, it's on the side. This one, it's going down the middle. And then the one where it's on the side, it has sort of like an animal print pattern on the other side, but it's in that beautiful bluish teal color. And then it's got silver and it sparkles. So I think it will actually look really cute with Festival of Lights as an accent nail. All right, let's see what's the next one here. This is another feathery one. I love feathers, so. I thought this one was kind of cute. Again, probably one more for springtime just because of the color palette of it. But um, it has like multicolored feathers on this beautiful blue background. Really cute. Um, another springy one. I think I was feeling the cold and I was like, I want all spring all the time. Um, so this is again another beautiful blue background and it's got some butterflies and flowers and really pretty. Is that one? Yeah, it is. For a second I thought there wasn't two, two of two in there. Um, okay, another one that I'm not sure if it's an overlay. I think it is. Um, but even if it's a white background, I'm okay with that. But I think this is also an overlay. So it's got this gold glitter geometric pattern on it. And I'm like super excited about that. I think I might try and work this in with maybe one of the golds with the um, with the uh, subscription box. We'll see, because it kind of has a little bit of that gold. I don't know. So it's very pretty though. And then last one is a ombre. You know how I feel about ombre nails. I love it. So this has um, that this beautiful deep purple, not really deep, it's more like a grapey purple and then pink and silver in the ombre. So I think that's really pretty. What do you guys think? I like it. So, um, and all of these were, I mean, I wanna say were they like $2.99 a pack or something like that, they're cheap. Um, and I will link Anna's group in the description um, for this video 
so that you can go and check out what she has if you want. She has like a um a Yumi Who site set up so that you can go and look at the um Shibella sets and the Encoco sets whenever you want and purchase them. She also does deals with the um you know when new stuff is coming out. So um pretty awesome. Um yeah, so I think I'm actually done now this time. Um and I'm gonna go get my base coats on so that I can do another mani. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye.